Eighth-ranked player in the world, Conchita Martinez, has been introduced, and you hear the ovation for that lady, and Miss Graf from Germany. Steffi, one of the greatest players who have played the game of tennis. She was number one ranked player in the world for a record 186 weeks. She has, of course, captured every Grand Slam title, one here, as we mentioned twice, and this week has been overwhelming against nearly every foe with one exception, and that was two days ago when in a rematch of last year's Wimbledon final, Zena Garrison took her to three sets. Well, Steffi had the opportunity to win that match in two sets, faltered a little bit, but won 7-5 in the third, and that was really the only time she's been tested so far in this tournament, though Mary Jo did test her a little bit in the second set of the semi-final last night. Conchita Martinez, only 19 years of age. She's from Barcelona, Spain. Seated number four here, ranked number eight on the Virginia Slims computer ranking. And she's a very tough opponent. She won three tournaments last year in 1991 in Barcelona, the Austrian Open and Paris Open. And this year, 1992, a quarter finalist in Sydney, Australian Open, the fourth round, and a finalist at Indian Wells. And she had a tough match against Kimiko Date in the second round, 7-6 in the second set. But uh, Amanda Kutzer, she had to come from behind in that semi-final match, but she finished very strongly, six love in the third. Championship play is just ahead. Martinez and Graf, when we return to Boca Raton on Prime Network. The Polo Club in Boca Raton playing host to our championship final in the Virginia Slims of Florida one final time. Next year, this championship moves to nearby Broward County, further south, and a brand new tennis stadium being built there. Martinez and Graf, a windy Turnbull, strategically speaking for these two ladies. What's important today? Both are powerful. Well, Conchita's big weapon is her forehand. She made a lot of uh, points off that, hits it with a bit of topspin. With the backhand, she can slice or hit topspin with that. And at the moment, she's playing with a lot of confidence. She lost in the finals of Indian Springs out in California last week, in the finals here. So that should be a plus for her. But she's got a tough road ahead of her because Steffi Graf serves better than Conchita Martinez and also the big forehand from Steffi Graf. She likes to run around that backhand and hit the forehand. And Steffi moves extremely well around the court as well. And Steffi, only the second tournament of the year for her. So she would love to get a win here to help her confidence for the rest of the year. Head to head, this is meeting number six. And really the toughest match between the two came two years ago in Leipzig on carpet indoors in what was then East Germany. It was Graf uh, in straight sets, 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, uh, but a pair of tiebreakers, 7-3, seven, 7-4. Seven, so Martinez has yet to take a set off Graf. Their most recent pairing uh, came in the championships on the Virginia Slims tour a year ago in New York, and it was Graf easily 6-3. Six, six, but this is a different Conchita Martinez we have seen in the last two weeks. She plays. Monica Sellis last week reaching a final. Our viewers today in Southern California on Prime Network will recall that uh, she played well in that tournament. And then here again is she is in the final. David Littlefield will chair today's match between Conchita and Steffi. It's very important for Conchita Martinez to get off to a good start. She was a little lethargic yesterday at the beginning of a semifinal match against Amanda Kutzer. And she can't afford to let Steffi Graf start with a lot of confidence because Steffi seems to, she gets a little bit ahead to just steamroll and play faster and faster. From steamrolling to steamy temperatures, it may be 84 degrees off the court, but on the court, it is searing. Better than 100 degrees today, and we have a thermostat down there, and we will do our best to update you on the climates in which Graf and Martinez play this afternoon. Steffi with that booming serve, having been clocked at better than 105 miles per hour, opens play this afternoon. Play.
by Martinez. to come to the net in that match but instead she ran backwards neither player very comfortable being at the net and volleying though Steffi does have the better volley of the two players Martinez has the ability to come over that backhand as she did in that last point but she also can hit the slice and yesterday we saw her hit a few drop shots well disguised because of the slice backhand Steffi loves to run around that backhand and try to hit forehands. Time going down the line over the high part of the net. Steffi is serving from the northern end. So when she tosses the ball, she's looking into the sun. It's the most difficult end for the server. that's rich in calcium. Tinez with the lead in serving. Love 15. This is only Conchita's second appearance on the uh, courts of the Polo Club Boca Raton in tournament play in 1991. Her first appearance here, she lost in the round of 32. Patia Korvik. Forehead. She runs around that backhand a lot and therefore she leaves the whole court wide open so it's not a bad idea to hit it wide to the forehand occasionally. Conchita Martinez coach Marco Lopez just sitting forward there received a coaching warning yesterday. Ah! Steffi fortunate just to get her racket on it. Cheetah Martinez has improved her serve a lot, trying to add a little bit more pace to her serve, and in doing so, she does serve a few more faults. 30 off. 30 off. Yesterday, she didn't get a very high percentage of first serves in play in the first set against Amanda Kutzer, only 22%, which is really low, but she did improve that as the match went on. Martinez able to get it to the backhand side and look where Steffi is. She's leaning more to that backhand, expecting the ball back there. And why? 
at Deuce. Paco told us earlier today that they wanted to make Graf run. Court to court, side to side, but they didn't want her coming in. I don't think Steffi's going to hurt you that much when she comes in. She, she won't want to come in because she's not that comfortable up there, though she does have good volleys and a good overhead. on that shot because she had so many options. Martinez really putting a lot of heavy topspin on the forehand, pulling Steffi wide. Steffi off the ground when she hits those forehands. Steffi could have really nailed the passing shot cross court. Instead, she tried to put up the lob then. It was a very weak one. That was why. The game to Martinez and contrast her two love start with the love four struggle that she endured yesterday at the outset in a match she won over Amanda Kutzer. Up a break already. Love 15, and that's the seventh unforced error for Graf in the early going. Martinez with but three. Martinez can cover a lot of court, but not that much. Said Conchita, I have a chance to do something big this week. I feel so comfortable. Ah! And long. 15-30. Both playing slash backhands. Steffi plays mostly slice off the backhand when she's very confident. That's when she'll hit a lot of heavy topspin. But Conchita Martinez mixes it up more off the backhand slice. And we've seen her hit quite a few winners off the backhand with the topspin. The service winner, 30 all. <laughs> Rick Mears is in the crowd today, the Indy 500 champion. He drives at the comparable speeds. And the ace. Here comes the service gear. It's a ride. 40-30. The 10th ace for Graf this week at Boca. the net cord not helping Steffi at all and Conchita has plenty of time even to run around and hit the forehand which she's more comfortable with. Is making Steffi move from side to side. 
It's a smart tactic because Steffi loves to hang on that backhand side, try to run around the backhand and hit forehands. Three forehand errors from Conchita Martinez, only one backhand error. Graf has made four backhand errors and four forehand errors. He actually likes the court to be a little bit faster than what it is. It favors Conchita Martinez because Martinez grew up on the slow European red clay in Spain, loves the slower courts, and with this court too, the topspin bounces much higher. This time, the net court plays in Steffi's favor. Advantage Graf. Conchita Martinez has never played at Wimbledon because she doesn't like the low bounce. She doesn't like to come in and volley and just has avoided that tournament like the plague. today after the quick start by Conchita Martinez who now serves. Fifteen love among the celebrities we mentioned earlier and on the left five time Indianapolis 500 champion Rick Mears and on the right his lovely wife Chris front row seats today. Guests of Virginia Slims. Fifteen all. And tickets to this tournament are like gold because it's sell out for a weekend. And I can't tell you how many of my friends wanted to come and I said sorry. Hello, Wendy, remember me. But maybe next year when we move to Coral Springs to a bigger stadium, there'll be a lot more seats available. Anticipating uh, accommodating more than 100,000 fans during the course of the week a year from now. 30-15. Today, center court sold out. 6,100 plus on hand. to get a seat is actually to be invited by Virginia Slims. Lord, Steffi is having to run a bit. She had Martinez beaten on that point had it been in. Well, that was the fifth forehand error from Steffi Graf. Steffi loves to run around the backhand and hit that off forehand. That's her favorite one. So to make her, if you hit wide to her forehand and then make her hit that shot, she doesn't really like to hit it. She prefers to go cross court with it and doesn't like to go down the line. Yesterday, Martinez was in trouble early because her service game deserted her. In the first set, only 22% of her first services were in. Conchita's serving much better today, more like 70% of her first serves in play in this early stage of the match. She's not going for quite as much on that first serve. And it's a smart play. Conchita Martinez much of a chance against Steffi today, so they'll be very encouraged with the scoreline at the moment. Conchita Martinez prefers 
the slow European clay, and she's done very well at the French Open in 89, 90, and 91. She reached the quarterfinals of all three years. Last year, she also reached the quarterfinals of the US Open. And then reached the fourth round of the Australian Open in January this year. I believe it was Gabriella Sabatini, although she did not play Martinez, who said earlier in the week that no one was talking about Conchita, but she was strong enough to win this tournament. Steffi having to hit a lot of backhands in the slice. Drop shot well disguised. make a case for the fact that Graf would be less well rested than Martinez for she was uh, on the court last night about 11 o'clock polishing off Mary Jo Fernandez. Well, Steffi had a long wait yesterday. We're supposed to play at 7 o'clock. We didn't get on the court till 10 o'clock. That's out. But then again, Conchita Martinez played a lot of tennis the last couple of days. Friday night, she had to play both singles and doubles quarterfinal won both of those came back yesterday afternoon had to play a singles and doubles semi-final won both of those and the ace not to interrupt you so conchita has played a lot more tennis this week than steffi it's just that steffi didn't really get off the court till around 11 or 11 15 last night and as soon as she was off that court she finished the match she raced home And the passing check cross court. Kraft falls within a game, 3-2 in Boca. <laughs> Wendy Turnbull, I'm Paul Kennedy, welcoming you back to center court. The Polo Club in Boca. Conchita Martinez serving, hoping to claim a 4-2 advantage in our first set. hesitated thinking it was a double fault 15 love she didn't protest to the chair though again a cross court forehand by ground 15 all well Steffi anticipated that that backhand from Martinez was going to go down the line here she is, she's already over there. And then she loves to go cross court with that forehand. Conchita not very comfortable up at the net. Doesn't have good anticipation up there. It's called in, but Graf thinks it was out. I do too. I think I have to agree with you, Paul. You're agreeing with me on a line call. <laughs> And the ball was hit with a lot of topspin and was dipping rather quickly. But it appeared to just miss because we're just sitting right on that line. It's a tough angle to tell from. And it was a tough call for the chair umpire, David Litterfield. And again, 40-15. Martinez up a break, threatening to lead. 
Martinez and her coach Paco Lopez to make Steffi Graf have to cover the entire court seems to be working. Martinez off to a very good start in this first set, always on her toes. You see just how much she whips that forehand, creating a lot of heavy topspin. She's encouraging herself. She's pumped up for this match. And leads 4-2. Well, that was a tough shot for Martinez because that ball was below the level of the net when she hit it. She created topspin, but she went over the low part of the net. Oh. One forced error with the backhand, attempting to add topspin to it, and a little mad at herself. Long. 30-15. Graf was broken in our first game. Dropped the first two. helped to win the point was this one here heavy topspin off the forehand dipping not too much Steffi could do with the volley One of the few occasions that Conchita Martinez has decided to attack the net. And it was a very deep approach shot. Just skidding off the line. Steffi coming up with a great forehand winner up the line. That was a big point. Martinez could have been up 5-2. And serving out the set. Advantage grab. Souvenir for a spectator. Serving to Graf. Another unforced error for Steffi.
That's her 18th in this opening set. Left, right, left. Down the line, the winner by Steffi, 30-15. Graf a year ago, Falling to Sabatini in straight sets two years ago or three years ago in 89. And we showed you the highlights from that, defeating Chris for the championship here in her sixth final in Boca. Her other title, in addition to the one over Chris, came in 87, Helena Sakova, the victim. 30 all. Peter Martinez was voted as the most impressive newcomer in 1989 by the players of the Women's Tennis Association. saw former Australian Wimbledon US Open champion Virginia Wade earlier today Virginia Wade was here conducting some clinics for Virginia Slims along with myself and Wendy Overton and Jeannie Evett Dubin very warm hard court and you see that they are playing for a sixty six thousand dollar u.s dollar difference between our champion and our runner-up but already this has been a magnificent week financially for martinez for she is also in the doubles finals <laughs> later today with her partner linda harvey wild from chicago Graf, a lot more unforced errors, and that's telling the story at the moment. Most of those off the forehand side. 13 off the forehand side. Cheetah Martinez. Steffi's drop shot. Not a bad idea because Martinez was behind the service line, behind the baseline, but she gets to it. And Steffi had to pick one way or the other. Look for the cross court, but Conchita able to go down the line. Time. 
first time <laughs> that she wanted to come to the net. Martinez has brought her in a couple of times. But Steffi needs to change her tactics a little bit because Conchita Martinez is dominating play out there. She's dictating what is happening. But Graf, Graf has been to the net three times, and that's the first time she's won a point up there. Andy. 30 15. The only set that Steffi has dropped this week came at the hands of Zena Garrison two days ago in that three setter. When she started off six love and had Zena down 5 2 double match point, only to let Garrison come back, win the set, and take it to three. Exploded it down the line. 30 all. Now look where Conchita is standing, way over in the tram lines or the alleys, as the Americans call them. <laughs> Easy now. In Australia, we call them the tram lines. to open our match faces the same situation in our ninth game of the first set and it's actually set point the first one for Conchita Martinez playing in her second championship final in as many weeks last week fell to Monica Sellis she has much more poise and success this week well that was a great decision by Martinez to come in and volley that ball and not let Steffi get back into position Steffi has struggled at the net well, she's been at the net four times she's only won one point she made an error on one, was passed twice, and came up with a winning forehand volley on the other. Love 15. Important for Conchita Martinez to keep her concentration here. Both players getting a good percentage of first serves in play. Two aces for Steffi. A few more winners from Steffi Graf, but Steffi committed a lot more unforced errors. Martinez had won yesterday in her victory over Amanda Kutzer. Triple break point. Graf earns her first break and leads one love in a second set. For Steffi now, Wendy, when she hit that forehand two points ago and put her hands up to say finally, 
It's as if she had gotten through that first set and is now awakened. She's trying to relax herself a little bit. Uh, Conchita Martinez has got a good game plan moving Steffi around. Steffi likes to run around, hit the backhand, hit the off forehand, and she's not getting many of those. Paco Lopez, the coach of, Martina, uh, of Conchita Martinez, he's not saying too much today. This would be a monumental upset in terms of this tournament, but we have had a few in years gone by. Jim Sarney, the Fort Lauderdale Sun Sentinel, carried this in his column earlier this morning here in South Florida. <laughs> of the seven top upsets we've had, look at the bottom of your screen in 85. God, that name looks familiar. <laughs> I didn't realize I was upset in 85. Okay, Gomford over Everett. Terry Phelps over Sabatini. That was in the uh, semifinal, make that quarterfinal round. And then, of course, Kutzer's victory over Sabatini stunned the folks here earlier this week. About 15. I note that uh, Jeff DeMoss, along with Jim Dussel in our production truck today, pulsating <laughs> Turnbull brightly on the screen. wins finally a point at the net only her second today well, look how far Conchita Martinez is off the court right there Steffi playing behind her and making no mistake with the forehand volley Steffi will have to change her tactics because Conchita Martinez has had the winning game plan at the moment Steffi does have the opportunity to come to the net a lot more. She gets to just inside the service line sometimes with shots, and then she backpedals. This is for Steffi, only her first tournament outdoors this year. She was ill earlier, missed the Australian Open. Lost in the semifinals of uh, the Virginia Slims of Chicago to Yana Novotna. Ah! 40-15, that of course played indoors on carpet. Steffi but was actually in, the, in Melbourne for the Australian Open. She was physically there, but just too ill to play and then had to return to Germany. faces today. Well, Steffi knows that Conchita isn't comfortable up at the net. That's why she brought her in there. But look, Conchita runs back to the baseline at the first opportunity she gets. Conchita knows what her strengths and weaknesses are. She knows that she's not comfortable up at the net. Her strengths are with her forehand and backhand ground strokes. First set. Conchita Martinez from Barcelona, Spain, where the Olympics will be held at the end of July, beginning of August this year, and she'll be representing Spain in tennis. And also we'll be playing singles and doubles there with Conchita, with uh, Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Steffi Graf will be playing at the Olympics, representing Germany. She'll be playing singles and then doubles with Anka Huber. 
15 love the surface for the Olympics. I, I note here that uh, Martinez has won the Barcelona Open did so last year. Is it played in the same facility on the same surface? Not at the same facility, but it will be played on the slow European red clay, which favors someone like Conchita Martinez. But of course, Steffi Graf is very comfortable on red clay too. She's won the French Open a couple of times. Steffi Graf won the gold medal in singles at the Seoul Olympics, also won a bronze medal in doubles with Claudia Cody Kilsch. semi-finalists will be in the Olympics. Uh, Mary Jo Fernandez for the United States and Amanda Kutzer for South Africa, which returns to Olympic competition. players to be able to participate in the Olympics as a bonus because they grew up never dreaming that they'd be playing represent their, representing their country in the Olympic Games and then to be able to win a medal is just absolutely fantastic. Defending Wimbledon champion Steffi Graf with service. Spectators today, some lovely birds. Whistling, long, 15 all. Music to the ears of Martinez would be a straight set victory over Graf. That's not out of the realm of reason. Conchita. And down the line, the back end ready. 40 30.
Steffi, you do not want to let Martinez take this game from you and not as two all. A world of difference from 3 1 2 all, especially when you're down a set. Conchita Martinez just taking her time. She has 25 seconds between points. Just telling off the conditions. Very hot and humid. The chair umpire has said that he agrees with the lines person. He's called the score. He's not going to overrule. How was it, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff DeMoss, our producer. Very difficult to see. The yellow fuzzy ball on the white line in bright sunshine. Vantage ground. Deuce. So it's academic. Well, the crowd is certainly behind Conchita Martinez, the underdog in this match. Steffi has won here three times before the Virginia Slims of Florida and has yet to win a tournament this year on the craft tour. First break point of this game for Conchita Martinez. Conchita Martinez was anticipating that Steffi's backhand volley was going back cross court. She knew she had a golden opportunity there. the patrons behind the inline to be still. He was asking the police officers to be exact. <laughs> Third time she's had an opportunity to claim our longest game today here and lead 3 1. And she aces Martinez to do so. 3 1 drop in the second set. Her third ace of this match.
Oh, good serve by Steffi, jumping into the court. And she was ready to move in as well. And she saw that was a good serve, 94 miles per hour. Her fastest one for this tournament has been 105. Steffi Graf was voted the most improved player by the players at the Women's Tennis Association in 1986, and then she was player of the year for four consecutive years from 1987 to 1990. by Martinez, 15 all. I think you'll see that Steffi will try to bring Conchita into the net a little bit more. She knows that Conchita isn't quite comfortable up there. And Conchita has been successful from the baseline playing against Steffi. herself an opportunity here 1530 Cheetah did very well in this point, just moving Steffi from side to side, and then finally wrong foots her. She's keeping Steffi guessing with those ground strokes. A few games ago, we saw Conchita just pounding the back end of Steffi Graf. Now she's moving her from side to side. Martinez down a break in the set. Prime Network with Wendy Turnbull. I'm Paul Kennedy. Midway through our second set, Conchita Martinez surprising Steffi Graf and this crowd, grabbing our first set 6-3.
at a month shy of her April 20th birthday. Martinez now trailing Graf in our second set, 4-1. Graf with service. Fourth today. Steffi's father, Peter Graf, anxiously watching this match. The gentleman talking with his hands just up to his face. Today, she hasn't run around the shot. Well, that shows that Steffi's starting to play with a lot more confidence. She's ahead 4-1 in the second set. But when she starts coming over the ball on her back end, that's a sure sign of confidence for her. 40 love. The second set is ebbing away from the Spaniard. And that has happened today. I'll make that the second in this set because when she broke Martinez to open it, that too was a lot. love. surrender a set and get on with the third if you're Martinez down 5-1. You never want to give up anything. Just hang in there because anything can happen in a match. 30-15. As Martinez took a long look at the bound of the ball. I think Cena Garrison proved the other day that you should never give up in a match. It doesn't matter if you're down match point. Hang in there. She comes to the net, seems doomed. Deuce. Martinez just taking her time. Steffi also going for the towel. Steffi's moving Martinez around quite a bit now. Making him work extremely hard. Conchita 
hit with her coach in Lopez earlier today, about 11.30, until she was drenched in perspiration. In. Advantage Martinez. Better than a half hour. And it was already quite warm at 10 o'clock this morning. Well, most players do warm up for at least half an hour. 45. Her first ace. Excuse me, Wendy. 5-2. More after this from the makers of Tums, the sodium-free acid that's rich in calcium. Steffi hoping to serve out the set and balance the scales in Boca. since Steffi has dropped this week in Boca will remind you was one she led at one point five two to Zena Garrison Martinez can return the forehand Steffi gets the short ball, goes cross court, and then looks for the forehand down the line from her opponent. Another service winner. Set point Graf. Virginia swims the Florida crowd. 6-2, Graf. Conchita Martinez to begin the third set, serving from the northern end, which is the most difficult one for serving because you're looking into the sun with the ball toss. Several years, Steffi Graf worked with Pavel Slozel, but the gentleman sitting in front of the gentleman in the striped shirt, Heinz Gunthard, a former Swiss Davis Cup player, sitting next to Peter Graf, now works with Steffi. This is a day for sunglasses and hats of all shapes and sizes. And sunscreen. Steffi's former coach, Pavel Slozel from Czechoslovakia, now works with uh, Jennifer Capriati. Fifteen thirty, and uh, Jennifer, as very recent history will show, made her professional debut here on Prime Network in this tournament, on this court, already two years ago. 
Jennifer's almost 16 now. <laughs> Jennifer's first professional match in the Virginia Slims of Florida. We saw that on the Sunshine Network. Very historical event. I don't know that Mary Lou Daniels <laughs> appreciated it, though. The wonderful lady, tour veteran, great doubles player. Plays in team tennis now. Decisive set of the $550,000 Virginia Slims of Florida. Even now, two apiece for the day. Oh. Did she look up just a bit to see where Steffi was? Well, Steffi was moving to cover the cross court shot from Martinez, but. Uh Shouldn't have to worry about it. Forty, thirty. Roth has won seven of the last nine games played as Martinez shows signs of being a bit frayed. Reminding us that was the third love game that Graf has played on Martinez today. Making God the power of her game, escaping Chiquita Martinez. Well, Martinez serve definitely falling behind right there. A lot more forehand winners from Steffi Graf. A few more unforced errors from Martinez, but definitely the serve a factor in that second set. And 47% of first serves in play for Martinez. And so Chiquita Panchita Martinez. Well, we know that he can't say anything or give her any signals because he'll get a coaching violation again. If she wins, and if she uh, merely enjoys another great week. Ah! 
40. Love. Well, that prize money was if she won both singles and doubles, and then the worst she could do is if she lost in both the singles and doubles final. consecutive points for Graf. She breaks Martinez a second time and leads three love in the third. Graf, as you see clearly, has won nine of the last 11 games after surrendering the first set. And in this third set, mm -mm -mm. And at the moment, Conchita Martinez doesn't have a look of confidence on her face. Doesn't have very good body language, not positive at all. But Steffi Graf has a lot to do with that. Just why? turns around pumps her hand here last night when she came in to play late she said she was so focused she wanted to get in get out as quick as she could against mary joe fernandez and it took her less than an hour to uh, wrap things up and she was in and out of here so fast and even when she finished the match she wasted no time in collecting all her gear and then racing home have time for the uh, perfunctory Steffi has left the building well if she sprinted home it'd probably only take her 60 seconds Martinez has so many options with that backhand. Steffi just had to stay where she was. by Steffi's father. Martinez could barely move toward that ball. Graf to lead for love with this point. And does. Four love Graf, two games shy of the slims of Florida crown. And she has brought Martinez to net with more regularity as of late than she was able to do early. Martinez has yet to hold service in this set. And the double fault. Well, it's only the second double fault for Martinez, but uh, her serve is starting to let her down, not getting a high percentage of first serves in. 15 all. 15 all. And when she does get that first serve in, she's taking a lot of pace off it. Only around 70 miles per hour at the moment. And that's more like a second serve. Thank 
I do mean great. Covered nearly the entire width of the court. Well, she had plenty of time to get to that ball because it was hit so high. And Martinez almost giving up on that point. See now, serving for the match. And you see how fatigued, visibly, Martinez is. She still must play a doubles final here at center court later today. Steffi serving for her third Virginia Slims of Florida championship. 15, 15 love. love. Her third singles title. Again, 86 over Chris Hubbard. She fell, pardon me, 87 over Helena Sokova and 89 over Chrissy. Last year lost to Gabby. This will be Graf's first championship of the year. And our congratulations to George Liddy, Sharon O'Connor, oh. Eric Romarty on those numbers who operate this tournament magnificently well. Oh. And we are at triple match point. Second set. Graf faced break point. That set would have been tied to all. She held service, went on to win the set 6-2. It hasn't been the same since. And this one is over. Steffi Graf has beaten Conchita Martinez. 3-6, 6-2, 6 love. From a field of 64, this lady this week in Boca has reigned supreme. One hour and 41 minutes to the title, her first of 1992. When we return, we will have for you the presentation ceremonies, the awarding of our championship cup, and we hope to visit with both Martinez and Steffi here on Prime Network. Monday, 10 to 9. Shop incredible half-price savings during Fingers Remote. Steffi Graf, after a slow start, losing the first set, 3-6, has rallied with a vengeance, and for the first time this year, captures a Kraft Tour title, this Virginia Slims of Florida. We take you to center court as thousands look on for our presentation ceremonies. Ladies, that worked. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the tournament director for the Virginia Sons of Florida, Sharon O'Connor. Thank you. First of all, on behalf of Lydon International, I'd like to thank all of the tournament staff, 
our volunteers, umpires, and ball persons who've done a great job all week long. And right now I'd like to introduce Ina Broman, event manager of group marketing for Virginia Slims. Thank you, Sharon. And on behalf of Virginia Slims, please join me in congratulating two great champions, both Conchita and Steffi. It's a great match today. I would also like to pay a special thank you to Sharon O'Connor, Carrie Cromarty, and George Lydon from Liddy from Lydon International. It is their hard work on an all-year-round basis that has made this week a record-breaking week with the highest attendance of an outdoors women's tennis tournament of 72,000 people. Thank you all very much. I would also like to pay a special thank you to Jean Mills, the tennis director here at the Boca Polo Club, who has been wonderful to all of us all week. Jean, thank you very much. And now, to present the finalist check, it is my pleasure to introduce Gary Farinacci, the Regional Director of Infinity. Gary. Thank you, Ina. On behalf of Infinity, I'd like to present this check for $44,000 to Conchita Martinez. Thank you. I would like to thank all the sponsors, uh, Virginia Slims, Kraft, and Infinity. And I would like to thank also my coach because he is helping me a lot and, and he's making me a good player. And I would like to thank all you because you support me a lot and I, I hope to come back the next year and play again. Thank you. And now it is with great pleasure that I would like to ask Steffi Groff, this is her 62nd title of her career winning, and her third Virginia Slims title. Steffi, it is with great pleasure that on behalf of Virginia Slims, I present you with a check for $110,000. and a little something to hold a champagne to celebrate your winning, a trophy. Congratulations, Steffi. Well, it was great to be back at home. And um, this, this tournament always was very special to me because was just across the street for me, and um, <laughs> and so I had a little advantage, I have to say. But um, now it was really, I think, very important tournament for me, and uh, I want to thank uh, a very special thank you for the whole family who has been with me here. I had lately not the easiest times, but it helped me a lot, and as well as my coach Heinz, thank you very much. You worked me hard, <laughs> and. Um, I also want to thank the sponsors, Infinity and Kraft, and uh, all of you have been involved in this tournament. I'm really very, very sad it was the last time here, and um, I, just, I just really had a great time every time I came back, and it's, it's tough not to see the same faces again, but uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Steffi. Thank you. Lastly, I'd like to thank Mr. Kerry Nadell, president of the Polo Club Boca Raton Property Homeowners Association, and all the members here at the Polo Club. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jeffrey Dallas Graff, Dallas Dallas with her 62nd career tour title and her sixth consecutive triumph over Conchita Martinez in three sets. Oh, yes, Lindell. Great anticipation as Steek applauds the shot.
jumped in our championship final over Conchita Martinez, and she's standing by down on the court with our own Wendy Turnbull. Wendy? Hi. Steffi, congratulations. It's your first tournament victory of the year. What were you thinking about when you were down one set? Well, actually, I let her run the first set a lot, and uh, I didn't really go for my shots enough, but I felt still that she played such great tennis that I, don't th I didn't think she would really be able to keep it up all the time. And I just said, OK, I'm going to try again in the second set. And when I got that early break, I felt a lot better at, at that stage. You live here at the Polo Club, so you said it was great to be back home. How does it feel playing here? It felt good because um, I know so many people by now, and uh, it's been great you know, coming back all the time. And what are your goals for 1992? Well, there's so much still to, to go ahead. I mean, it's only my second tournament I've played this year. And uh, right now, next week, I have Kibis Kane. Definitely the highlight's going to be Paris, Wimbledon, as well as Olympics and the US Open. So a lot still to go. Well, let's have a look at match point. Maybe you could tell us exactly what happened here. You were serving. I was serving. And, uh, well, she missed an easy form at that stage. <laughs> and you served very well in this match. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I... I had, a, that's my coach and my brother right behind, and as well as my father, and I guess they're happy, <laughs> as well, well as I was. Well, you're pretty happy. Just take a, your, a look at your reaction. Yeah, I definitely was. I mean, it was a close match. It was really hot out there. And as you said, it's the first win this year, so it's good. Well, it certainly must feel good. It's the third time you've won here at the Virginia Slims of Florida in your home backyard.